Welcome to Wildlife Wednesday. Today we're talking about one of Montana's pokiest plants, the prickly pear cactus. Perfect because we're here at 10 Mile Creek Park, which is owned by Helena's own prickly pear land trust. So let's go see if we can find some. Oh my gosh, so many prickly pear and they're in bloom. So prickly pear are in the cacti or cactaceae family. They're a succulent, which means they're really resistant to drought and really great at retaining water. Now, if you look at these guys, these main lobes you see are actually modified stems and they're covered in this thick waxy skin that helps them to retain moisture really, really well. All cacti are covered in these bumps or aerials, which differentiate them from other succulents and all other plants. Aerials are what both the spines and flowers grow out of. These spines, of course, help protect cacti from predators, but they also actually shade the plant to protect it from the sun and break up the wind around the plant to help it retain that moisture. Spines are different from thorns because spines are modified leaves while thorns are modified stems. This time of year, it's pretty hard to miss the flowers, which later in the summer will ripen into fruit. And cacti fruit can be eaten raw or made into candies, jellies, syrups, or maybe even brewed in your favorite local beer. Using parts of a cactus isn't new. Long before they were being used for beer or decorating your windowsill, Native Americans were using them for foods and medicines. Prickly pear are also important to our ecosystems and the insects and animals that live in them. Various bees, beetles, moths, and birds feed on the nectar from their flowers, and wildlife like ground squirrels, rabbits, pack rats will feed on the flesh or fruit of this plant. So as you're out hiking this summer, keep an eye out for these amazing native Montana plants, not only to avoid their spines, but also to admire their beauty.